To assemble a posterior x-ray holder, you will need a bite block, a bar, and we have a jad rad. It's a rectangular collimation instrument. Depending on what, which art you are going to be using, you will decide on where to put the bar and the bite block. We're going to start with the maxillary left premolar. So I'm going to slide in the pegs into the bite block, like so. And now, with the jad rad, there's little letters on here, and it's kind of hard to see, but that one says upper left, lower right, which just happens to be what we would like. So you would slide through the bar, through the little hole, upper left, lower right, and on the other side, just to show you, it says upper right, lower left. So that's how you assemble the posterior XCP. For posterior positioning of a periapical, you're going to need your size 2 sensor. And with your size 2 sensor, you're going to want to place it in your instrument, in the bite block, like so. With the cord coming out, kind of the angle, the same way that the angle of the bar is. So this is going to be coming out towards the mouth, out, out of the mouth, towards the patient's nose. You'll want to open Dexter's mouth as wide as he can go. When positioning, you want to make sure that you're going to have the occlusal plane of the teeth flat on the sensor. If you go in at an angle, it tends to help a little. To ensure that the bite block is flat on the occlusal plane, a cotton roll will help underneath the bite block. Getting as far forward as we can because we want to get the mesial of the first premolar. I'm going to go ahead and bite him down. Make sure that the collimator is as close to the patient's face as possible. So you'll want to gently go ahead and press the JADRAD as close as you can. It may even touch the patient's face a tiny bit. For posterior periapical molars, you're going to be doing Something similar that you did on your premolar. Same setup. You're going to be going in at an angle, and you're just going to be going further back. Place the cotton roll underneath the bite block, and slowly go ahead and close Dexter. And again, move your JADRAD as close to the patient as possible.